What I mean, what I mean by is, if you remember classification, by the number of terms, this has this is a binomial, and this is a polynomial with four terms, right? We do have trinomials with have three terms. On your work today, you do have a trinomial times another trinomial. Um, so what I'm going to, the way that I like to do this is obviously, as I just discussed, you can do this by applying distributive property. And then you'd have to do distributive property with the other term, right? And you guys can see, just look counting all these lines, you're going to be doing the product. You're going to be multiplying, you know, doing multiplying products one, two, three, four, eight times. So you're really going to do eight different multiplication problems. That can kind of be a lot, right, just for one problem. And also, it can be a very easy way to get confused and get the wrong answer by making some silly mistakes. So what my recommendation is, is to use, is well, FOIL works when you have a binomial times a binomial. But in this case, we have a binomial times a polynomial to the fourth power. So we can't use FOIL. Um, so there is another way, though, that I like for you to try. All right? And basically what this works is, when you guys look at a rectangle, and if I say 3 times 4, which if, I, you know, if I say what is the area, you're basically multiplying the length times the width to give you 12, right? So when you guys are multiplying something, when you're multiplying a number times a number or an expression times an expression, your product or your answer represents like the area of a rectangle. All right? When you're multiplying two things together, your answer represents like an area of a rectangle. So I, for visual effect and to keep things organized, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent this product. Does everybody see what, see what I've done? Sheldon, does that make sense? I represented one, pro I represented one expression on one side, and I represented another expression on the other side. Because I'm going to multiply this times that. And the answer that we find is going to be the area of this rectangle. Kujan, does that make sense? No. So now to help us out, yes, Brianna. Can't you just um, multiply the x squared by all those and then the negative 4 and then add? And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me show you. So to help this, rather than trying to multiply to get this whole area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the rectangle into smaller rectangles. All right. Now, when looking at that, what you see is this, the, width, the height of this rectangle is x squared. Right? So now, to f remember, to find the area of a rectangle, you do length times width. So let's just say the length of this rectangle is x squared. To, and then I multiply it by this width, which is x cubed. So that's x to the fifth. Then I multiply x squared times negative 4x squared, which is a negative 4x to the fourth. Harris, please stop talking. x squared times 2x is going to be 2x cubed. And then x squared times negative 1 is a negative x squared. Basically, what it is is the exact same thing, Brianna, as me saying this times this, that times that, that times that, and that times that, just like you would do with distributive property. But what I like about this is it kind of left it as the area of each box. And I'll explain to you why I think that's important in a second. Now, let's find the area of each of these boxes. Length times width. Negative 4 times x cubed is negative 4x cubed. Uh, this becomes a 16x squared, negative 8x. And this becomes a positive 4. Now, what you guys notice here is I have two boxes here that have the same terms. Do you guys see how these both have x cubed and these both have x squareds, right? So now, when I want to rewrite this as my final answer, I can combine these together. So my final answer in descending order is x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth. Combine these two to give you negative 2x cubed. Combine these two to give you a positive 15x squared. And then minus 8x plus 4. And that is your final answer. Yeah, you're